young Mike. Welcome back to the shop. Well, I've received the uh, replacement parts in the mail today, so uh, we're ready to begin our rebuild of the single rail gearbox. Alright, I got a little bit ahead of myself before we can put the main gear train in. Um, the reverse gear idler, idler shaft, and selector level or selector lever need to be put into the gearbox. The orientation for this is the this is the front of the gearbox. The snout has to be oriented to the front of the gearbox. Um, we will then uh, we'll, we'll insert that into the gearbox first and then we will uh, put in the idler shaft. There's a hole in the shaft and there is a um, uh, a hole in the side of the gearbox uh, with where the screw goes in place to to in through the shaft here to hold it in, um, in into the gearbox. I've installed uh, some Teflon tape on the threads of that uh, bolt because this is a leak path um, for the gearbox oil so that should uh, stop it from leaking. So take the gear lever insert it onto the um, the stud going through the side of the gearbox install the idler gear this has been pre-lubed with some assembly assembly lube and then install the gear shaft okay now I just need to orient the hole on the gear shaft so that the bolt lines up. And then we put the bolt in here. Turn this around so I've got some leverage. So the front of the gearbox is now on left side of the screen. Alright, I gotta look down the hole. Okay, this is a uh, this requires a half inch wrench to tighten up, and I'm just going to hand tighten it. Um, there's no preset torque on this; just uh, hand tight. Okay, good. Um, next, uh, we'll take the, the main shaft, make sure that the lay gear and the lay shaft are directly in the bottom of the gearbox, otherwise you won't be able to get the main shaft in. This is the front of the gearbox, this is the back. Um, basically install the tail shaft through the rear and lay the gear in. It's a little bit tight, but once you get it in, it works. Okay, so we've got the gear train back in. The next thing we need to put in place is the input shaft, and that goes into the front of the gearbox. Um, we're going to have to remove also the wire that held this all together while we put it together and we're going to also need to install the, um, the bearings as well as install the um, shaft 
for the, this is the leg gear shaft. We're going to need to install that as well.